Hi engineers, today we're going to be learning some catchphrases that you're going to use throughout this time when we're learning a little bit about the design process. Have you ever felt frustrated when you've gotten stuck on a problem? Have you ever had a hard time getting feedback from other people or maybe even working with the teammates? Problems are things that engineers face every single day. So we invited a whole bunch of engineers from a whole bunch of different industries who have many different problems and how they use these catchphrases in their daily lives. So hopefully, when you encounter your own problems, you also can use these catchphrases and practice that in your engineering too. As you meet new people, as you learn new things, and as you try new things, there's constantly gonna be new information. And the question that you need to ask yourself is what can I learn from this? Since that's the way you improve, skill yourself up, and uh, be empowered to build new things and help other people. Everything we do at our organization is a collaborative effort. Not one single person did anything just by themselves to create the product that you're looking at right now. I feel so proud of my whole team every time anybody gets something done. It truly takes everybody rowing in the same direction and working towards the same goal to accomplish anything. In engineering, we do a lot of work that is, uh, we would call it abstract a huge aid to communicating with somebody else when you need to come convey these really abstract concepts is make a drawing. Sometimes it's better just to show than it is to tell. And so for that sake, a prototype, especially a low cost prototype, doesn't have to be pretty, is usually extremely beneficial. Computer science is mostly about finding bugs in your code, and that can be a really tedious and stressful process. When I'm studying, when I'm stuck, the catchphrase that I say to myself is that I can always take a break and come back. Decompressing, completely getting my mind off of something else allows me to come back and see the mistakes that I wasn't able to see previously because my mindset has changed. This was wrong, do it again. That's not the best feedback at all. That does nothing for the person who's gonna be receiving the feedback. The more information, as far as if you're the person giving feedback, the better it's gonna be. So the best way is to um, just give the kind of feedback that you would wanna receive. I tend to be a bit ambitious with some of my projects. One thing to remember, um, projects, projects can get frustrating sometimes and um, it can be really hard to feel like continuing it would be possible, but um, I would say that if you're stuck on a project, um, the only way to fail is to quit. This is one that I always remember. There's, there's, oh, it's always in my head. There's always something happening that I always think, okay, I made a mistake, it's okay, but I'm gonna learn from this and make sure that I don't repeat this mistake. Mistakes can sometimes shake people's confidence, but really it, when you're dealing with such complex problems and so many different moving parts, then it's natural that things slip through the cracks. So then rather than getting frustrated at either yourself or a teammate, the best way is to kind of treat it as a new tool to put in your toolbox going forward so you can look out for it or you can make sure that it doesn't come up again because you already have that on your radar. We're all scared of making mistakes. None of us want to fail, but always remember that every time you make a mistake, you have the opportunity to learn from it. Every mistake is a, is a learning opportunity. Not everyone can do everything. Um, everyone has different skill sets. Having other teammates brings a different perspective on a problem, and so teammates with different viewpoints will be able to cover your blind spots and recognize when there's you know, an issue with something that the other person didn't necessarily recognize. As an engineer, feedback is such an important part of the process. Don't take it personally. Feedback is meant to make the product better, and it isn't a reflection of who you are. It's a reflection of there are opportunities to always grow and improve.